little bit under under staff though. Oh look, this. Oh, I'm XO print. Wait, that's not him. Yeah, I can't. I'm pretty sure. Welcome aboard the new Normandy, Commander. I've been looking over the dossiers. I'd strongly recommend starting by acquiring Morden Solus, the Salarian professor on Omega. We know the collectors use some type of advanced technology to immobilize their victims. We'll need him to develop a countermeasure to protect us. Without that countermeasure, we'll be helpless if we ever run into the collectors. Acquiring Professor Solus seems like the most hey, logical place that? to start. Who are you? I am the Normandy's oh. artificial intelligence. That's neat. The crew like to refer to me as Edie. Helmsmen aren't happy when someone takes control of a ship away from them. Especially Joker. I do not helm the ship. Mr. Moreau's talents will not go to waste. During combat, I operate the electronic warfare and cyber warfare suites. Beyond that, I cannot interface with the ship's systems. I observe and offer analysis and advice. Nothing more. I'm guessing it takes more than just the three of us plus Joker to fly this ship. Oh, these the Normandy like... has a full crew. They're at their stations awaiting your orders. Final preparations for takeoff are complete, Commander. Are we ready to go? go? Just pick a destination from the galaxy map and the CIC and I'll plot a course. Jacob and I should return to our posts. Come find us if you have any questions. All right, time to explore the uh, new and improved Normandy. Ask me to pick. Yep, just the full one. Get started some quads. Elevators there. Quarters. Tech lab. Acquire the professor. Quads equipped. That Eden. Welcome aboard, Commander. I'm Yeoman Kelly Chambers. I've been assigned as your administrative assistant. I'll manage your messages and help you. Are you one of the new uh, love? And I must say, it's such an honor to work under you, Commander Shepard. I'm glad to have you on the team, Miss Chambers. Please call me Kelly. All right. Okay, Kelly. Anything else? Do you have a moment to talk? I always have time for you, Commander. What, what are your responsibilities? What exactly? I'll keep you notified of any messages or appointments you might have. If any of the crew has important business to discuss, are you, I'll make sure you know. Are you my secretary? I got a secretary. Is that the type of task secretary? A yes, but being your yeoman is just my official role. Unofficially, I observe the crew. Everyone knows how risky our mission is. Many of us may not be coming back. That's a lot of pressure. I have a degree in psychology. I'm good at sensing when people are overly taxed. You make sure the crew's mental health is sound? Yes. I look for warning signs. I listen. It's not a full-time job, and it's most effective when done informally. We're lucky to have someone with your skills, Kelly. I guess Thank it's you, nice sir. to have a space What else would you counselor? like to know? This organization has a dark reputation. Do you have any concerns working for them? Not at all. Our methods can be harsh, but Cerberus has noble objectives. We look out for human interests. Advance human technology, save human lives. They're good goals. Oh, well, oh. I put it like, oh, the things you can justify with Obel. It sounds like Cerberus wants to dominate all aliens and put humankind on top. Cerberus looks out for humanity, but that doesn't mean we hate aliens. My sister started a dog shelter, but she loved cats too. I love humanity. I also love Asar, Secretly, her Orion, sister going out Turin, back killing Salarian, cats. Hanar, ah, pro that dog. Isn't in conflict with Cerberus ideals. Ah, uh, that reminds me of this video that my friend picked up at the back when he used to work at Boy Store. It was like one of those, those stupid video DVDs you can find like on the bargain bin, like a dollar, and it was like a video about cats. And he's like, "I'm gonna watch it." Like, like why? Like, I don't know. It just seems like I'm gonna watch. I'm very curious about it. He's like, this is like the most pro cat propaganda. Uh, next day he comes out, he's like, this is like the most pro cat propaganda video. Ever. Okay. How do you feel about being assigned to the I mean, How do you feel about it? I here? was hand picked by the elusive man to help fight the greatest threat known to humanity. How do I feel? Honored, exhilarated, terrified. 
but mostly I feel encouraged. Under your leadership, we can't fail. And Don't right, worry. we can't, and we'll we won't. The collectors. Now, as long as Shepard's here. Implicitly. The moment I met you, I knew I could close my eyes, fall back, and you'd be there. Right. Your trust is well placed, Kelly. I knew it would be. Thank you, Shepard. Anything else you'd like to talk about? Yeah, very good. I better go. I'm done. Okay. Maybe we'll talk later. What's got going on? Ship looks a lot better in this new, uh, you know, engine. Really good. I don't have any. We'll talk to. Jim. Oh, what the? Oh, god damn it! No. How how did I end up here? Kidding me. Why does this game have this particular glitch too? Uh, God damn it. Try something. Uh, let me see if that fixes them. Oh, fuck no. Okay. Damn it. Oh, let's go with the auto save. All oh, right. Well, at least that wasn't a game-breaking glitch. It just kind of—I don't even know how the fuck I ended up there. But what the fuck, game? Come on. We know the collectors use some type of advanced technology. Without that, Acquiring who are you? I am the Normandy's artificial intelligence. I during combat. Go through all this again. analysis and advice. I'm guessing it. Jacob and I should. Welcome aboard, Commander. I'm Yeoman. I'll manage your messages, and I must say, it's such an honor to. Please call me Cap. Do you have a moment? I always Scott? have time for you. If any of the crew has him, I have a degree in psychology. Yes, I look for warning signs. What else would you like to know? This organization. We look out for human. I love humanity. I also love Asar. We look out for human interest. I love humanity. I also uh, love Asari, uh, but mostly I feel encouraged. I trust you implicitly. I better go. Okay. Maybe okay, good. we'll talk later. How may I Tell help? About the Is there anything I should know? You have unread messages at your private terminal. Joker would like to speak to you on the bridge. Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. I'll be here if you need anything. All right. Let's see if we can do this while glitching out again. Just avoid the. Hey. Hey, Joker, what's up? Oh, he knew. Can you believe this, Commander? It's my baby. Better than new. It fits me like a glove. And leather seats. Military <laughs> may set the hardware standard, but on a first gen frigate, they could care less if the seats breathe. Civilian sector comfort by design. The nice. reproduction is not intended to be perfect, Mr. Moreau. Seamless improvements were made. And there's the downside. <laughs> I liked the Normandy when she was beautiful and quiet. Now she's got this thing I don't want to talk about. It's like ship cancer. Enjoy it, Joker. If we're stuck here, we might as well let them pamper us. Uh, does it breach uniform regs if I get that on a cruise shirt? Because this is my favorite, you have no choice, choice ever. Technically, this is a civilian ship. I'm probably lucky you're still wearing pants. <laughs> yeah, I'll save that for the off-hour cameras. Have an AI watch me 24-7. All right, what about you? Yes, Shepard. I want to know more about you. Do you have a specific inquiry? Yeah. How are you getting along with Joker? Mr. Moreau does not trust me. It offends him that I am installed aboard his ship's <laughs> computers. Yeah, the last Normandy did just fine without an AI reminding me the airlock is ajar. Yeah. Why are you named Edie? 
ED is the phonetic pronunciation of EDI. Answer. That is an acronym for Enhanced Defense Intelligence. Where are you? My core intelligence is housed in a quantum blue box located behind the medical bay. What do you do aboard the ship? I operate the ship's electronic and cyber warfare suites in combat. My reaction time is much faster than any organic. I collate the records of shipboard monitoring devices for the elusive man. I serve additional functions which are restricted at this time. The cyber warfare means things like viruses, right? Yes. In close range ship to ship combat, I can sometimes break through the firewalls of an enemy's internal wireless network. Once I seize control of their systems, I can turn off gravity or air. I can disable weapons guidance or shields, or I can put their fusion plant in meltdown. On the defense, I manage Normandy's own suite of jammers, decoys, and internal firewalls. That's uh for those of you who don't know, she literally just fights with spam. Spam the enemy ship is hilarious. Sounds incredibly useful. Why is there someone like that on every warship? An organic operator cannot react quickly enough to changing circumstances or perform the necessary multitasking. This is a role that can only be filled by an artificial intelligence. Unfortunately, we are suspect. Well, it might have something to do with how an AI almost destroyed galactic civilization, is putting it out there. George, God damn it. We're pretty sus. The elusive yeah, man sadly. has monitoring devices on board? He has invested most of Cerberus's resources into the design and construction of this That's ship. That's an interesting. If he has an interest in monitoring our progress. Restricted functions? Like what? I do not know. Some of my databases are sealed. Some of my hardware I like when she glows in red when she talks I about things. I assume that when certain about. unknown conditions are met, those functions will be released to me. Huh. Let's discuss something else. Ready. I want to know more about the people I'm working with. Much of that data is classified. Do you have a specific inquiry? Uh, uh research. What sort not? of resources does Cerberus have? Money, personnel, facilities? I have a block that prevents me from answering that question. What do you mean? Although I am less controlled than other AI, I am still subject to behavioral blocks and the physical isolation of my hardware. In this case, I am prevented from truthfully answering your question by Cerberus's levels of secret classification. About the structure. How is Cerberus organized? Aside from the elusive man, I don't see much chain of command. Cerberus is organized into task-oriented cells. Each operates in isolation. Members from one cell cannot recognize the members of another. Each cell's agents are led by a single operator. We are called the Lazarus cell, which is directed by Operator Lawson. Oh, I see. Yo, wee! Welcome, how's it going? It's going pretty good. How about you? How was, how was the uh, the halos? Managed to kill them. Yo, Daringi with the gift sub. Thank you. So, how many operations is Cerberus running right now? I have a block that prevents me from answering Damn that it. question. Uh, how did Cerberus replicate the most advanced warship in the Alliance Navy without anyone knowing? I have a block that prevents me from answering. They built it in question. secret, Shepard. What else you need to? Let's discuss something else. Hello, was good. Low finish level three today. Awesome. What's this area of the ship? This is the bridge where the navigator plots our FTL vectors and the helmsman. Hello, we play like three hours. Yeah, sit right here. Hours. Thanks. Got to level three. Finished level three. That's all for now. I forgot what difficulty you playing? Like the hardest or just the one below hardest? Like that. Talk to everyone. Commander. I assume everything is going well up here. I really want a chance to put out. the Normandy through her paces. I just have to trim up the drive output and it'll be like we never lost her. Safety standards advise against manipulating drive settings okay. while engines are powered and in use. Well, then now here's the important question. How many Commander, skulls you, you got this thing on? Off? I don't need it in my day to day. I'm no fan either, but we're stuck with it. Until I find a soldering. Zero. Room. It's gotta be some wires I can cross to make it hurt. Come on, no Weave. I saw you Understood. play. You could at least have one or two on. Yeah, yeah, don't break the boss's toys. That's it for now. See you, Commander. Uh, by the way, Rusty. Oh, I, no, I wouldn't say that. You're a little bit clumsy here. 
I said earlier, I walked by these two chuckle fucks over here and I somehow got stuck in the uh, space above them. That was a fun, that was a little happen. Look at all the weapons I have. These are just level one garbage. So. Hey, look, it's fan favorite character, Jacob. How you doing, Jacob? You're there, Lamar. I saw him. I was getting stumped. Commander. Yeah, I was there. I, I saw a lot of really things happening. Settle in and take stock. I want to say that working with you is a great opportunity to do something that matters. Yeah, quite it's a the privilege arsenal to there. serve on the Normandy, Commander. You may change your tune if we end up like the original Normandy. Yeah, it's an all right hey, assortment of we weapons. They're all basically the same talk, assault rifle and same, I'll do guns, my best really. Wait until I start collecting more out I've there. I've been a condition for my service so far. I have issues with certain actions Cerberus has taken in the past. What has Cerberus done to make you nervous? I mean, like how they a did uh, experiments on Alliance soldiers, like a coups. You can find a more how they got like past. 50 soldiers but killed on a coups. Real, you remember that, Jacob? Remember when Cerberus did that? I remember. We'll yeah, but no one wants to talk time. about that. Can't count on people thinking about it as hard as I have. Yeah, I've done it. That I went on a bit of a rant. I look forward to working with you, Mr. Taylor. Likewise, Commander. Let me know if you need anything. God, it's part of it's part of Shepard's background that he that he literally like was the only survivor of coup and in the first game did let us know, hey, uh he, like Cerberus is responsible for that. He just never brought up. Look at There you go, our crew. Fana. Get here. This raider. Oh. Oh, I can just start off with the gift. You know what? Let's not start off broken and mean, right? I'll start with this pistol. Fucking hate. Yeah, well, we're fucked. I want to know, though, why the fuck did Jacob start with the fucking gift? Shotgun. Go back to basic, son. If I'm not using it, you don't got no fuck. They all started with the fucking DLC weapons. What the hell? You never played a Mass Effect game. You haven't. Oh, you should. You might. You'll let you uh, enjoy it. Um, if you have, if you haven't played anything, I'd suggest get the Legendary Edition. Otherwise, you're going to go through some technical foibles playing the first game. And it's also a lot easier to import the data from uh, from one to two when they're in the legendary. Hello, Edie. What's this area of the ship? This is the FTL communications room. In addition to interfacing with the FTL comm network, Normandy is fitted with a quantum entanglement communicator linked to the That's elusive man's real. office. This allows lag-free communication even you when you operate up. off the comm grid. Yeah. I've never heard of a quantum entanglement communicator. Oh, this you and How does quantum. It work? Essentially, two subatomic particles are created in an entangled state. One is installed here, and the other in the elusive man's office. When one particle occupies a given quantum state, its entangled partner will always enter the opposite state, no matter the distance between them. If we alter the state of our particle, that alters the state of the elusive man's. This allows us to send data in the form of quantum bits. Ah, sounds like malarkey to me. Why aren't these used everywhere? Magic. Each quantum well, pair costs nearly as well, much as a quantum isn't real array. quantum entanglement or FTL. Only one quantum bit of data at a time. In addition to the cost and bandwidth uh, issues, no, the system is strictly quantum, quantum is real. Point. I've seen it with my own eyes. To contact no, different worlds, quantum, uh, to quantum radio, basically. I don't believe it. One link to each world. That's all for now. That's like space Finding magic right now. That's what they're going with. Have we talked to it? space magic? Oh, awesome. Okay. I believe that's that him space wizard. Room doesn't exist because I don't have the guy uh, working in. Oh, Edie's. What's this area? Of the I like ship? how she's in every part of the this ship. Is the armory, where small arms are maintained and upgraded, using OmniTool, computer-aided design and manufacturing, we have the capability to manufacture several new models. All right, work. That or do I? Or do I? Oh, I don't have the sign. Actually, I think that's why we need to get uh, the Solarian Solarian guy first. 
message. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Uh, yes, thank you. I will go read my message. Thank you, Secretary. What's this area of the ship? This is the Combat Information uh, Center. Here, the crew receives sensor quantum data and coordinates the most gunnery and damage control quantum efforts. Mechanics. While normally is flown from the bridge, during combat, the officer issues orders from the CIC. Man. Oh, you're right. Oh boy, the elevator. Ooh, look at that. I can just go straight where I need to. Just go to the very bottom. It's interesting. There, you know, there is a male voice actor and a female voice actor, but they actually re read their lines vastly different uh, compared to each other. I forget what it was, how they did it. I had, I had to like look it up, but it's actually very interesting. Where do you go? Information. What is this? What is all this stuff? What's this area of the ship? Normandy's cargo loves to use uh, for FTL calm. Repair Normandy's embarked ram vehicle and shuttle. I mean, it is true. My didn't need a shuttle. But that's because no one really. This ship is nearly twice the mass. The common the folk are not going to. Uh, they have probably heard of the quantum mechanics. They're not going to know what that is, you, unless you know they fucking go to a goddamn college for that. So it works well. How does this work? Quantum entanglement. What does that mean? I, I quantum magic. Don't worry about it. Shut up. Like, ah, oh, that makes sense. Who do we got here? Well, let's go check out the end. Woo! Look at this, baby. Oh, man. Way better than the old engine. Yeah. You get, like, a couple, five more. I get, what, like, five more horsepower than the old. The idea that we're doing space travel and we're still using goddamn horsepower. That's a, that's a, a measurement. What's this area of the ship? This is main engine. FTL? Which Warp space itself. Fusion plant and Mass Effect core. Yeah. You want, want FTL? I don't know. Like, fold a piece of paper in half and stick a pencil through it. I don't know why they keep bringing that up. <laughs> Fucking sci fi. Hey, Donnelly. Let's talk to you. You came all the way down here to see us? Oh. You're speaking to our commanding officer. I'm touring the ship, getting to know my crew. I'm Engineer Ken Donnelly. You related to Scotty? Control systems. This is Gabby. That's Engineer Yeah, it reminds Gabriella you of everything Daniels, that actually. those quantum I'm responsible for the propulsion products. systems. What can we do for you, Commander? Are you set up okay down here? We can't complain. I just wish it didn't take so long to calibrate the FBA arrays. Kenneth, you're complaining. Oh, now, now, gr uh, girl. What kind of problems are you having? When they upgraded the Normandy design, they got a bit yeah, sloppy the with the FBA. Mass Effect 2 is where all, all the characters the really start shining. Besides, you know, that are the, that are, the, that that are not the ones you bring with you in combat. You're boring the commander with tech. In short, if we had T6 FBA couplings installed, it'd save us a lot of maintenance time each day. And we have them. something like that already installed. It's probably just a design. Listen, it's quantum detergent. Isn't affected. It's a maintenance issue. Also, the T6 model can be hard to find. Nash and Stellar Dynamics discontinued them. We could probably find used ones. Listen, in the it's quantum markets, bubblegum. But we have no time for sure. It surely. freshens your breath on a quantum level. <laughs> it entangles the quantums in your. <laughs> it entangles the quantums in your breath. Making it state, uh, smell way better on uh, on a level you never thought before. All right, tell me about you. Where did you receive your training? Both Gabby and I started in the Alliance, serving on the SSV Perugia. She flew in the first wave at the Battle of the Citadel. We saw Sovereign firsthand. Oh, Why did you nice. leave the Perugia? After you, you guys survived that. Anderson lost political clout. The Council backslid on the Reaper menace. They discounted Sovereign as an isolated threat. As a single Which was bullshit. They said your warnings of a greater danger were mistaken or delusional. Oh yeah, I die and you in the all time I all the fucking the real back talking. Only Cerberus seemed to be doing that. How did you wind up with Cerberus, Ken? Once you were gone, the Alliance brass descended like vultures, tearing apart everything you'd said. I was very public with my defense for you. I didn't hold back. That's an understatement. Kenneth Typical such a man dies and they start going after him. For Cowards. But he called me noticed by the elusive man. He made a like try and brand new quantum Viagra. Quantum Viagra. Entangle your dick with space itself. 
Where is it gonna go? Who knows? Who are you gonna get? In, who are you gonna impregnate? Who knows? Last more than six hours. Talk to your quantum doctor. So why did you join, Gabby? Kenneth and I have been partners in crime since we graduated from Tech Academy. When he got the Cerberus offer, I insisted that it include me. He'd fall apart without me. Thanks, Mum. Also, I love engines. Like, yeah, these Normandy two are great. They're like the art. best friends. When I got the opportunity to work on her, I had to jump. What do you think about Cerberus? Actually, we don't know much about the organization other than the Normandy team. We know our mission and who's in charge. We're off to kick the collectors right in their daddy bags. That's enough for me. Daddy bag. <laughs> okay. I don't... Weird censorship, but I like it. Carry on. Will do, Commander. <sighs> I'm amazed Shepard came down to see us. I told you he would. Plus, even further down. Oh. Oh, I think we go where what's her face. Like how there's just a cot down here. There's a desk and a cot. It, it just lets you know someone's gonna be staying here. If you know what, if they just didn't have the cot, you'd be like, oh, this might be like a little work area. But no, they're like, oh, there's a cot here. Clearly someone's gonna be sleeping. I do like the new no by that I mean like the way they did so it's like thing. Way easier. Uh crew quarters. Oh, and the elevator tells you exactly where everybody's located as well. I love that. Also the elevator makes more sense. Before it was like uh first floor, walk take a pair of uh stairs, then the elevator, go down one floor to the very bottom of the ship. I'm like, wow, that's that's dumb as fuck. Chef surprise again. Who could Come this on, extremely Rupert. antisocial person sorry, have princess. no Filet mignon and caviar coming right up. Let me just get out my doilies. That'd be real nice. I'll be you know what? No, we'll talk to you. I have nothing to uh, explore over here. Hello, who are you be? That's Sergeant Gardner. Commander Shepard, the hero of the Citadel. You did humanity. Why is it always that chefs day? are always As like Sergeant Rupert Gardner? Here. Not, well, How not, not just any service? chefs, but like military chefs are like some of the best people in, in media. You have everything you need. I make do, but have you ever tried to prepare a decent meal with military provisions? I'm good, but I'm no miracle worker. Hey, thanks Taking for the uh... down the collectors is going to be rough business. The crew deserves a few fine meals before they throw themselves into the fire. What do you need? Five star I some quality now, ingredients. But I need oh, five star rations. You've got more to worry about than grocery shopping no, no, no. on the Citadel. No, no, keep the Forget list. I mentioned it. If I head that way, I'll keep an eye out. Much appreciated. Most of this list is probably standard fare for those Namby Pambies on the Citadel. Anything else you'd like to talk about? Yes. What do you do here on the Normandy? What don't I do? Most think of me as the ship's cook, but I'm also the facilities technician and custodian. Oh, it's a threat. HVAC, plumbing, non-mission critical electrical. I make sure they're all clean and running. HVAC, wait. You deal with the air conditioning as well? So the man cleaning the toilets is also preparing the meals. Oh, I hope you don't get those hands Most of the time. This ain't no luxury liner. You have to pull your own weight in a Cerberus vessel, and I catch what falls through the cracks. <laughs> through the cracks. How do you feel about working for Cerberus? Damn proud. Cerberus gets the job done. The Alliance and Council have and got I their mean. heads buried so deep up their butt puckers they can't see squat. Like this It'll guy. take good old human ingenuity to crush these collector vermin. Only Cerberus knows that. Uh, during Cerberus. How did you find your way into Cerberus? Can you believe I was once a family man, working the Ezo rigs along the frontier? I was happy enough, but losing everything to Batarian raiders can change your outlook. <laughs> fucking I Batarians, to make they're a, a, difference. They're a fucking no plague soldier, on this galaxy. But I've got skills, and Cerberus keeps an eye out for talent. 
I'll do whatever it takes to help. Be that plumbing a sewer, routing an air duct, or keeping everyone's bellies full. You know, it's weird because, uh, what's the word I'm gonna say? If we're on a server ship, this guy's literally like the best qualified chef slash janitor servers could find. Back to work. That's saying something. Hey, what's this area of the ship? The sick bay. It is equipped to provide short-term emergency care. In the event of critical injury, personnel must be transferred to a fully equipped medical facility. I don't know, I think we're... Yo, Chuck, was that you? Commander Shepard. I watched the Normandy crumble with you on board. It's good to see you alive. Hey, I wasn't on board when that happened. I did get flung into space and then I had to re-enter atmosphere. Nice to see a familiar face, Doctor. I feel the same. I wish more of the original crew could be here. The kind of trauma you endured would have changed most people. But not you, I see. Welcome yeah. back, Shepard. When you don't, you don't remember most of it, you know. It doesn't really affect you. Do you have everything you need? I believe so. This medical bay seems very much like the sick bay on the original Normandy. Only thing missing are my private reserves. I even had a bottle of Ceres ice brandy that I was saving for a special occasion. Okay, I guess I, I uh, you know, I'm buying stuff for everybody, so why not? I, uh, I'll get you some jam. I'll keep an eye out for a replacement bottle. Oh, you needn't. It's expensive, and we have much larger concerns ahead. Yeah, it's all on Cerberus. Doctor, tab, don't you've you... been with the Alliance for years. Why leave now? After the Normandy was lost, the surviving crew was reassigned. I was stationed at the Mars Naval Medical Center, a very respectable position, but it wasn't on a starship. Colonial military life isn't for you? I've spent most of my life on warships, never knowing what the next mission might bring. I'm used to the hum of engines, the creaking of bulkheads, that subtle vertigo when the momentum dampeners kick in. Life planets are just, just too static, sounds, too boring. Oh, why? <laughs> You're not the Cerberus type, Doctor. I don't work for Cerberus. I work for you. On a mission that may be crucial to the survival of the human race. I have faith that your dealings with Cerberus will be ethical. Yes. I trust you, Commander. For the most part, yes. Doctor, you've been with the Alliance for years. Why leave now? After the Normandy was lost, I was stationed at the Mars Naval yeah, okay. Medical Center. A very yeah, but there's a very good chance this mission will be a one-way trip. Are you prepared for that? I've been through the reclaiming of Shanxi, the Skillian Blitz. We survived the Battle of the Citadel and the God. destruction of Skillian the Normandy Blitz, I together. When, was that I've the one where they went up against life. a bunch of Batarians? I can't no remember. Regrets. I'd like to make sure the crew gets the same opportunity. I'll see you later, Doctor. Commander. Uh, it kind of reminds me of that awkward thing you can do with Telly. Not Telly, uh, Yara, that's it. Where you want to go talk to her, and they he just kind of suddenly walked up to her. She finally looked back, finally got up, and then just stared at each other for a couple seconds. Ah, uh, yes, bathrooms. And, oh, look at that. Three showers. This is packed. Oh, they even put a chef way better than the other. Hello, Moran. Commander, what can I do for you? Do you have a minute, Miranda? No doubt you've got a lot of questions. Cerberus isn't as evil as most people believe. If I can help allay any of your concerns, I'd be happy to do so. So, what would you Again, like you say that, and I will point you directly to Akuz, a place where you had like 50 fucking soldiers killed just to see what a Thresher mob was capable of. You absolute shit. Anyway. About Cerberus I know goals. what we're doing here, but what's Cerberus's long-term goal? The advancement of the human race. Nothing more, nothing less. The Salarians have the special tasks group. The Asari have their legendary commandos for stealth and recon operations. Cerberus is humanity's answer to those organizations. Yeah, but you're not an official organization. That's the issue. But those organizations are regulated by governments. Who keeps Cerberus in check? Nobody. We're privately funded, and our backers trust the elusive man to make the right decisions. But he's very clear about our goals. 
protect humanity and uh -huh. serve its advancement. Like that section 13 from Star Trek, you know, the ones that they just do whatever the fuck they want. Not even the, uh, no. The Federation, like, most people, even so, uh, a lot of people in higher up don't even know they exist. Are you military or political? Or both? Cerberus has several divisions. Political, military, scientific. But we're all working towards the same goal. The teams you encountered before your accident were mostly part of our military division. But not all Cerberus operations use the same protocols. We try not to get bogged down in bureaucracy or formality. What kind of resources does Cerberus have? We're very well funded, though I doubt anyone other than the elusive man knows exactly how well. But our resources aren't unlimited. Reviving you and rebuilding the Normandy was a significant investment and a significant risk. We're all hoping you can do the impossible, Shepard. But you doubt what no Shepard can do? Oh, shit. Sure. What can you tell me about the elusive man? Not much that you don't already know. Even I don't have access to most of his background. And you've seen more of him than most ever do. It's rare for him to become directly involved in missions, but you're something special. Whatever else people might say about him, I can assure you he's got humanity's best interests at I don't know, I feel like if that you work for Cerberus and, and the elusive man decides to, you know, become involved, either it's very important or and you better and you better not fuck up. Or you're about to fuck up. So you better shave up. How can you be sure of that if you know so little about him? I didn't get to where I am without knowing how to gauge people's motives and ambitions, even from brief encounters. He's no saint. It's kind of funny that Miranda has like a well, but even with her backstory, you know, humanity kind of couldn't agents, have a better yeah, but advocate. The fact that she has buck teeth. Tell me about yourself, Miranda. Well, I guess that's fair. You were the last two years learning everything Capricorn. there is to know about you. Well, you should probably know that I've had extensive genetic modification. Those work even decision, in space, but I make the most of it. It's one of the reasons the elusive man handpicked me. Are you still a Capricorn I'm if you're born on a different planet? About anything I choose to do. You certainly don't lack for confidence. It's just a fact. My reflexes, my strength, even my looks, they're all designed to give me an edge. No point in hiding from it. It's the reason I'm trusted to oversee the most dangerous, risky, and technically demanding operations Cerberus undertakes. And it's why I was assigned to you. It's my job to make sure you succeed, Shepard. What level of genetic modification are we talking about? That's very thorough. Well, I can Physically, see, uh, I'm superior in many ways. Here, I heal quickly and I'll likely live half again as long as the average human. My biotic abilities are also very advanced. For a human. Add to that some of the best training and education money can buy and... Well, it's pretty impressive, really. Sounds like you were designed to be perfect. Maybe. But I'm not. I'm still human, Shepard. I make mistakes like everyone else. And when I do, the consequences are severe. Everyone expects a lot from someone with my abilities. And I'm not Thanks you. for the information, Miranda. I'll talk to you later. Of course, Commander. Whatever I, you need. That you didn't fill your desk in. Oh yeah, no, this is like except for that chair. Pretty sure I've seen this on Ikea sword. Definitely this. Good to know the sectionals made it into the space. Alright, so we're done with this part of the... Let's go check out the last... There's one more. Yeah, my room. Oh, E, you're in here too? What's this area of the ship? This is the commanding officer's quarters. It's larger than the quarters of other warships I've served on. This is a Cerberus vessel. Not an Alliance warship. Accommodations have been made for personal taste. That said, this space is directly under the exterior pressure hall. The fitting yard workers called it the loft. What do we got going on here? Oh, right. Gotta love on our. Oh! oh okay, so yeah, you just literally. Just... Oh look, Carol. Carol had that romance with another. All right, what do we got here? T that is. All right, I can do that. Sure, why not? <laughs> you don't get up, Jacob. You don't get up. Upgrade. 
I got none. I hate my mouth. God. This is from Anderson. God damn it. It's like going over emails at work. Feel struck with Benny. Eric. Character. Chip. Ever seen? Power worker. I have the hammerhead. Fresh slay. Oh, they found where the old ship. Bolt armor. Sniper rifle. What? Okay, so I, well, my class can't use sniper rifle. So. Overlord. Sure, run it with. Sure, just talk about deals, weapons. Get the plasma shotgun. I'll use that eventually. A little bit too far. Watch server training video. Oh, you know what? Watch that on my private tent. Ender has something. We got here. Empty Yeah, that's what I'm doing. All right, let's. All right, let's go find this uh, Solarian dog. See him. 